I don't think I have ever seen Donald look so depressed. He wandered out of here like a sad little puppy. Oh, except that he's old, of course. Well, when I say old, I don't mean old. I mean, well, actually, I suppose he is old now. I mean, Angela, I wonder if there's an age that you turn when you're suddenly old. You know, like, you turn 48 and you're suddenly old. And I suppose there he is. Anyway, there's no puppy. No, not exactly the way I'd think of him. Did you ever meet his wife? No, I didn't. But I don't know if she meant that much to him, no. He never used to talk about her. But then again, I suppose it seems like everyone's been turning their back on him lately. Poor Don. Is it me or just something smell in here? Oh, no, it's paint. Mr Stewart and I went through the whole salon yesterday. Wow, when's it ready? Friday. Good one. No thanks to Mr O'Reilly, though. Oh, come. Well, I didn't like to say anything in front of Irene, but that man is no workman. I should have listened to Donald. Oh, dear. I guess I've been turning my back on him too, haven't I? Not taking his advice. Oh, well, we've all been doing a bit of that lately, Marilyn. It hasn't been all that long since we've had him over, though. I just want to make him feel wanted, that's all. You see, Sam, I've got this idea, right, that if we invite him over to take us to play bridge, it'll bridge? make... Bridge? Yeah, it's the card game. Yeah, I know what it is, but why the hell would we want to play it for? So Don can teach it to us. Yeah, if it makes sense to you. Just trying to help him out a little, you know? No, make him feel like we're still a part of an extended family. Can you go along with me on this for a second, please? Look, I know what you're getting at, but... Well, I don't think Don would want to feel so... What's the word for it? Patronised? Yeah, yeah, that's it. He should be a writer. Very funny. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that Don would hate that more than sitting at home feeling sorry for himself. But if we invite him over without a reason, he'll know it's because we don't want him sitting at home by himself. Exactly. That's why we need a reason. But it can't just be bridge. I mean, it doesn't make sense. When would we play? It's got to be something else. No, oh, I guess so. Got any ideas? No. Fabulous. Now what do we do? Oh, go back to work, I guess. You know, I'm going to kill him. Man, just chill out, all right? Did you see what he did? As soon as the bell went, he was all over like a rash. I mean, he's going to be dead. Do you know where they went? Well, she just said she'd catch me later. Oh, she will, all right? Just relax. Nelson doesn't even know you're going out with her. She's got to find a way of telling him. You reckon? Well, I'm starting to think I'm the one who's getting the flick. I'm the one she can't tell. <sighs> Thanks, Angel. Don! Hi. Afternoon. Have you have a second? Uh, yeah, sure, as long as it's quick. It won't take a minute, I promise. Shane and I were wondering what you're doing tonight. Oh? Because oh. if nothing's on, we could do with some of your help. Hmm. What with? What with? Hmm. What? Chess? I had to say something. But you know how to play chess. But Don doesn't know I know. I see. No, seriously, I don't think he knows. Angel, this is never going to work. One way or another, he'll find out. He won't. He won't. Now, that's why I'm calling you, sweetheart. I, I just wanted to let you know, just in case, you know, you bumped into him somewhere, OK? Yeah, OK, OK. I'll meet you at home. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. In this situation, you've got a lot of options. Here you go, Dylan. Here's your apple. You could move the, uh, the, the, the castle over to here and the king to here, which is called casting, or, or you could move the knight over to here. Um, two squares forward, one across. Oh, could I do this? Huh? Boom. That's a check, isn't it? It is. Mate, in fact. Beginner's luck, huh? Yeah, it must be. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm certainly getting the hang of it now, aren't I? <laughs> no wonder you made it to a headmaster. You're a hell of a teacher. <coughs> Dylan. What's the matter? <coughs> you coming? Dylan. <coughs> what did you give him? Give some apple. Dylan. Is he OK? No, he can't breathe. Shake the ambulance <coughs> or something. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. He's choking. Oh, it's Doing. Come. Oh, oh, sweetheart. Hey, baby, deep rest. Is he okay? Oh. Yeah, that's it, mate. Right. Just take it easy for a while, huh? Hey, you'll be all right. Jeez, that was quick. Oh, so quick. Another minute, and thank you very much. Well, I, I don't know what I would have done. Thank you. That's all right. I'm just, just glad I could help. Don, if you hadn't been here, would have died. When I dropped Dylan off at Kindy this morning, he was telling everybody how Uncle Donald grabbed him and shook him really hard last night. Oh, no, Shane. Oh, it's all right. I made sure everybody knew the truth. <laughs> he came out looking like a real hero. He was a real hero. I never wanted to go through that feeling again, Shane. You know, for a split second, I, I thought... Yeah, I know. So did I. Mm. But it's OK now. Don't have to worry about it. Mm. Mm. What? Look! 